Hi guys! So today's video is going to be on how to survive nursing school. So chances are if you're watching this video you probably are in nursing school right now or you're about to be in nursing school and you've probably realized that nursing school is hard. So these are going to be some tips on how to survive nursing school and make it through. The first way to survive nursing school is to have good time management skills. So in other words, don't procrastinate. When you first start nursing school or even throughout your entire time at nursing school, you're going to feel overwhelmed at times because teachers like to assign lots of assignments, you'll have writing assignments, you'll have clinical days, you'll have skill days, you'll have lab days, you'll have a lot of things to do all at once. So having good time management skills, having a journal or like calendar to write down what's due when, what you have, when your clinicals are, and when your classes are is really helpful. The next little tip on how to survive nursing school is to study every day and if you're not a big studier, well, you're about to be once you start nursing school. Studying a little bit every day just makes it a little bit easier on yourself so you're not trying to study everything all at the last minute or all at once. So you get a lecture in class, go home, at least read your notes or make flashcards or make study questions. Just doing a little bit every day so that way by the time you get to the test, you know all the information and you don't feel like you have to go back and relearn information that you learned a few weeks prior. The next tip is to put yourself out there. So if you have a simulation and your instructor asks um, for volunteers on who wants to be the nurse, um, put raise your hand, put yourself out there, and don't be afraid to volunteer because even though it's kind of scary and intimidating and you may not really want to do it, you're going to learn the most from just throwing yourselves into situations and getting that hands-on experience. The same thing for clinicals. Don't be afraid to go into patients' rooms and just talk to with them. I know the first time I ever went into a patient's room, I, it was like really scary. I was probably way more nervous than they were being in the hospital. Um, but the more you practice, the more you put yourself out there, the more comfortable you're going to get. The next tip for nursing school is to know that sometimes you're going to have to do the dirty work. Especially, I know for my first semester in nursing school, it was a lot of basic hands-on training, a lot of basic skills for, you know, how to empty bedpans, how to um, position patients, how to help patients get up. And sometimes you're going to have to do the dirty work of changing that brief or helping a patient shower and you may not find that the most attractive part of nursing but it's so important and it's really rewarding to help your patients especially when they're really in a vulnerable spot. The next tip is to make good friends. So nursing school is like a battle and the more people on your team the easier the battle is. So I know for myself I have met some amazing amazing lifelong friends in nursing school and it has been super helpful because you can share with each other's pain and know what's going on, you understand what each other are going through, and it also helps when it comes to studying for tests. So get together with your friends, study with them. If you guys all take notes in class, share with each other your notes so that way you can kind of compare and make sure you didn't miss something important that the teacher said, or maybe your friend has a different view or approach on things, and you can collaborate with all those different ideas and just give you more of a well-rounded um, base of knowledge, especially for preparing for tests and just for general nursing and skills in life. The next tip is to use school resources. So I don't know about all nursing schools, but I know a lot of nursing schools allow you to go and practice your skills. They do open labs where you can go and like if you need to start at practice starting IVs, um, or just they have resources like books or pharmacology books or even tutors that can help you out if you're struggling or just need some extra practice on things. The next tip is to take care of yourself. And this is probably one of the hardest tips and one of the most important tips at the same time. So get a good night's rest. Make sure you're eating healthy. Make sure you're exercising. Uh, they teach you all these great things in nursing school about you know, dieting and exercising. And we go and we teach our patients these things. Well, why not use those great tips and knowledge for yourself on how to keep yourself healthy. Um, I know this can be hard to do because when you get really busy, it's easy just to grab fast food or you're like, I don't want to go run right now because I need to be studying. Well, make sure you take that time to take care of yourself because you can't go into clinical and in your patient's room and take care of your patients when you haven't even taken care of yourself. All right guys, so those are my few little tips on how to survive nursing school. If you haven't started yet, don't worry, you're gonna be fine, you'll love it. If you're in nursing school right now, just keep pushing through. I'm sure your graduation is right around the corner and you will make it and it'll be so worth it. In the end, I know for myself, I have a few months left and it feels like I have about five years left, but I know it'll go by super quick and 
my graduation date will be right around the corner. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any other great tips, leave them in the comments below. And I'm also going to leave my links below my video that I did on dealing with stress because nursing school is stressful and this video is, that I made is great for tips on how to relieve stress and manage your stress. So if you guys have any other questions or comments, leave it in the comments below and thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.